I know that Terry did his best here, but he only had a first aid kit. I heard there's a medical bay on this floor. You could go there and find some painkillers. I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it so much, in fact, that if you do it, I'll give you my shotgun. Yeah, that's right. I call her Lucy, and she can fix all your problems. So just bring me the pills, and the gun is yours. Good. Just head over to the medical bay and look around the cabins. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, welcome back to Underhell. I did the dumb and I was just wandering around, went through the load screen and back again because I knew he would give me a quest. Sometimes it freaks out and he forgets to until you've already left. Eh, the flag is broken on it, but that's fine. Oh, and our pistol has a laser now. I don't like those... Anything in here? No. No. Blue de doot de doot. Blue de I swore there was a card over here, but I guess I got it. Running around in circles. Oh. Oh. I don't like it. Oh yeah, this definitely a 45 rather than a 9 millimeter. Ow, fuss budget. Um, come on, swipe the key card. There we go. There is nowhere for them to come from but right in my face. See? I'm a dirty cheat. Huh. No one's in here. laser doesn't really line up with the crosshair. Now where are those medical supplies? This is just a roll of bandages. Don't need them yet. Oh, there's another card. I can smell them from a minute away. Not useful. I don't need them. Ooh, big med kit. I'll take it. And the medical supplies for the other guy. He's dead. That's not where I'm going. That's another playing card, which is important. Aha! You obtained painkillers for Junior. Checkpoint. Wait, over here. I'm alive. Look, look. I'm not one of them. Man, are you one of the security guards? Of course hey, I am. Do you have like a safe place where you can take me, man? I'm starving. I haven't eaten since this morning. Been looking around for food and no luck. Here, are you gonna pick that up? Or do you have an aversion to guns? There we go. Yes, my boy, pick it Damn up. It, what the hell is going on here? I, I don't get it. People just went crazy and started killing each other with anything they could find. Yeah, they did. That they did. Wait for the elevator. Hey, Jake, could you uh, come back here a second? I've got something to ask you. All right, it's not really that urgent, so yeah, just take it. Oh, 
shit, I was been going to hell for a while. I knew something like this was going to happen. Well, not this. This is beyond my imagination. Stupid elevator didn't feel like one. Mm-hmm. Oh, behind you, bro! Stupid AI. The zombies will rip your face off with no problem. Are we there yet? Shut up. Yeah, the zombies will rip your face off with no problems. This guy, on the other hand, is just dumb. There we go. I know there's gonna be a cutscene. I'm gonna pause the recording if I can. Ah, there we go. Looks like a nice place to wait for the real rescue team. Thanks for bringing me, pal. Well done, Jake. Okay. Hold on, then. Aha! Thanks a lot, man. Here, loose is yours. She can't cook, but she'll sure as hell clean up for you. All right. Let's hit that little savey button. Hey, uh, thanks for stopping by. All right, here's where I'm at. Apparently, I managed to access the security network from this computer, which is great. But I don't know what the problem is exactly, but I'm having trouble navigating on the network. Okay, see, I have a few programs in my CD case that could help me navigate better, if you know what I mean. The problem is, my CD case is in my footlocker next to my bed in the dormitories of this floor. So, if you could go get it for me, that would be a huge help. Because I, I really want to smash this piece of shit open right now, you know. I feel like it's making fun of me, you know. Every time I'm trying to access something, it resets its connection. God, I hate that. Uh, anyway, Nerd. if you could do this for me, I can give you my shoulder flashlight. <gasps> it's way better than the one you're using. I'm, I'm pretty sure it uses less batteries as well. Yes. You'll do it. Brilliant. All right, so my footlocker is next to my bed, all right? It's on the second level. Um, it's the only one that's red, okay? And you'll find some computer stuff uh, under my bed if that's any help for you as well. Okay, here's the key to the footlocker. I hope there's not too much trouble. And I still have two more cards. <laughs> Do you know that the human heart creates enough pressure when it pumps out to the body to squirt blood up to 30 feet? Yes, I did actually. So I gave him that thing. I'm doing the side quest for Nerd Boy. And I got a shotgun that aiming down sights is useless on. Namely because... Go. Damn you, child. Give me your helmet. Oh, that wasn't a good helm. It there we go. Don't you? Boy. Come on. Any more? Oh, apparently. Ah! Damn it all. Yeah, how about that? Now what? Can't hit me from in here, can ya? 
they'll leave eventually. Well, when the music dies down, they'll become a little more docile and I can shoot them in the face. Can I shoot them all in here? This is cheating. Come on. There we go. Now we can go into the dormitories. Um, that's... Not hey! Son of a goat. Bang! I should leave that laser on. Okay, you do that. Look around in here with our knit vision on. Shower, shower, beds, beds. One of these rooms should have the things that we so desire, but it's dark, and I hate it. <laughs> Kick. Oh, more night vision. I already had them. And nobody's in here. That's depressing. Here's my boy's locker. And we turn off our night vision because that was... Not fun. And... Oh. How'd I miss that? I swore there was supposed to be someone else and I don't know where they are. That's upsetting. Oh wow, this is a two-handed pistol. So I don't even have a way of using that one-handed uh, flashlight anymore. There's got to be one more human survivor. Ooh. Come on, where is it? I don't know where the last playing card is, and I don't know where the last survivor is, and there's always that one. Ooh. Well, I guess I'll see you there. You scared me. Found hey, a survivor. Part of the rescue team? I knew they'd send somebody to rescue us. All right, I'll come with you. I didn't even know this Take room me to was the rescue area. Here. Okay, here you go, take that. You gonna take it? Yeah, he is. I don't know where the last playing card is. Where are you taking me? Out of here, hopefully. Uh shit, I'm all turned around. Out of the locker room. Rid of the film grain. We've got 50 FPS. I hope you're taking me to a safe location. Should be. What? Yeah, that was a waste of shotgun ammo. That one. You're not part of the rescue, are you? You're just a simple security guard. Of course, what did you expect? I didn't need the night vision on that long. <sighs> Let's get this back to Kitty McKiddo face. 
Yeah, it's me. Open the door. Welcome. My name is Terence Mason. I'm the Chief of Security. You're safe here. You can rest. You can eat some food and let us worry about what to do. I suggest you try and get some sleep. I know you must be tired and we'll be moving to another location and carrying all this equipment very soon. You will need your strength. All right. Great. I guess I'll be staying here with you guys. Thanks for bringing me here safe and sound. There we go. Drink this while I can. Hey, buddy. How do you feel? How do you think I feel? I got shot. I know that, but... Whatever. I suck at taking care of people. I'm feeling better, man. I'm feeling better. Here you oh, go. Oh, you found it. Brilliant. Thank you so much. This will be so much help me. All right, I'll start installing these right away. Oh, there you go. Take my flashlight. Yeah, it should take less batteries than the one you're using. Oh, yeah. That's Thanks nice. Thanks again. And then we take another drink of water. We don't need that. And I'll meet you when I find that last playing card. <laughs>